Good morning. Wow. Response. Thank you. As we said before, today is a chance for you to have senses to fully understand the visual and performing arts courses here at Plymouth Canton Educational Park. So far, you've had a chance to listen and see a few things from our music and drama departments, but it's my job here, and these guys backing me up over in the corner, to show you guys what is available in the visual arts courses here. There are seven different art educators here at PCEP, with Canton, Salem, and Plymouth offering visual arts and career technology education aesthetic courses next year. I'm Mr. Brunn, and I teach drawing and sketching as well as painting. We have Mrs. Kuhn over there, she's our AP teacher. She also teaches, wow, condescending laughing, thank you. <laughs> as well as sculpture, we have Mrs. Osborne, she teaches medals. Mrs. Anderson is, and Mr. Pasalo are our photography teachers. And Mr. Linderman, some of you guys may know from his elementary years, he's our ceramics teacher. Wow. Craig's getting the ovation, there we go. Each of us has a wide depth of field and variety of different media, and we have together over 70 years of freelance experience. As soon as we hit these lights here, I'll show you some examples. Oh, oh, they're coming down. There we go. All visual arts courses are comprised of a series of projects that work with a variety of materials and techniques to give you a varied exposure to differing traditional fine arts. Each project has a number of preliminary assignments that warm you up to a completed final piece, be it a watercolor painting, pen and ink drawing, film photograph, flash animation, wooden sculpture, wheel thrown pot, or a soldered piece of copper jewelry. Each visual arts class keeps a detailed sketchbook and journal that allows for a record of instruction and opens up the creative aspects of the drawing process and builds on previous classes you may have had, so that each art class you take can help you with a number of other visual cor uh, arts course offerings, regardless of experience. You guys can see we've got a variety of stuff here. We'd start you off in a class called Introduction to Art, also known as Intro. If you haven't had any exposure to any art class since elementary school, or if you draw every day at home, by yourself, then this is the place where you want to start off. We're working with a variety of different materials for you guys, from drawing to ink, paint, sculpture. We go the full gamut here. You can see some of the examples of the sculptures here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. We're getting towards the end here, a couple of watercolors. Drawing and sketching is our next course. That's one where we move you guys into drawing representationally or realistically. In drawing, you study objects both in still lifes and from photographs with objects and people as your subjects. This course is specifically designed to have you working representationally or realistically. All of these folks, these drawings that you see up here, this is all just a second tier course. So the stuff that you got from intro carries over. We use a variety of different media. It's not just pencils, from ink, chalk, charcoal, watercolor, oil pastel, a couple of other different things that you can get on there. We study mainly still lifes as well as human forms, as you can see up here. Painting is next. Acrylic, tempera, watercolor, oils, and even latex paints are the tools of the painting class. Through these media, you're going to explore color, texture, value, and depth to create realistic looking works from a variety of different sources, from still lifes to photographs. You get your chance to work with paint both in synthetic and natural hair brushes and create regular old stuff, little bit, to mural sized works like Miriam's doing over here. Photo is up next. The photography course is a three-tiered course designed to take you from a simple point-and-shoot snapshot photography to professional-level portfolio work. Through these courses, you have a chance to work from both film and digital cameras. Graphic design, if you're interested in animation, web design, commercialism, or other forms of mass media, should definitely consider that. Working with existing photographs and hand-drawn imagery, you'll be introduced to a variety of programs including Illustrator, Dreamweaver, Photoshop, and Flash Animation. 
Metal's course is all about sculpture, but in kind of a smaller vein. You learn soldering, you learn casting, you, you work with a bunch of different metals, precious gems. Through these different methods, you're able to create objects, sculptures, and even jewelry. Any metal, stone, wood, bone, metal, plastic, are available for use in the sculpture course. Using techniques both ancient and modern, you'll be able to explore both subtractive and additive sculpture to create pieces that transcend historical aspects and modern art. Our ceramics course is designed to provide you with a complete understanding, yes, Perry the Platypus, of the various uses of clay. More than just pottery, like we've got over there, ceramics is about sculpting as well, but using glaze and other media to color it. Advanced Placement is our big course here at the park. It's the one where you can achieve college credit. It's the one that a lot of people end up in if they're looking to pursue an art degree. We have an AP portfolio that will allow you to work with both drawing and painting and give you guys opportunities to get your stuff displayed in the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards competition, which looks really, really good on a college application. Some examples of our fine work there. Well, that's all I got for you. But I do want to say thank you real quick to, once again, Miriam over there working. Erin, she's walking around taking pictures, and we've got Tara on the wheel. Thank you guys for coming out, thank you for your patience, and we're going to get right back into it. But first, I, 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 want to, I want to ask you guys if you have an art teacher currently that is teaching you stuff, and you want to see some work that we've got here in person, we are having a K-12 district-wide art show on April 9th in Plymouth, it's going to be in the cafeteria over at Plymouth. It lasts about four hours, but it is crazy. There are a ton of work, a ton of pieces that you can come out and see, and we would love to see you there. 